cover the 12 hour drive on war torn roads and reach the governor's mansion in the middle of the night. It, it was a good thing to get out of Kabul, but I think the adventure is really beginning. My apprehension of being surrounded by armed guards melted away when I was welcomed by the governor. I asked him about the treasure, but he didn't want to give anything away, although he seemed to know that the Kohinoor diamond was in the British crown jewels. <laughs> he assigned a couple of soldiers to escort me. I was going to need them, as the next stop was very sensitive. As I approached the great shrine of Ali in Mazar, the Friday prayer began. The pilgrims were chanting with great excitement. In our family, there's a saying that the secret of the treasure of Ahmed Shah Durrani is kept in a shrine. And so, for me, coming to the shrine of Ali is a very, very obvious first step. There's a great belief in the Islamic world that geometric designs are numerical. They, they signify numbers, and that numbers signify letters. My grandfather's notebook outlined the Abjad system, a code built on an alphanumeric sequence. Abjad can be used as a part of geometry and also associated with it, the link, are the magic squares. By a simple process of multiplying the digits from one to nine with each other, the square is filled with numbers. That's when the magic begins. If you connect all the ones, you get this form. And if you connect all the eights, you get this. The figure one equals A, Aleph. The figure eight equals H. The object simplicity is misleading. It's a system of ciphers that can have innumerable levels. Learn to understand it, and you can interpret a design in all sorts of ways. It's a bit like looking for a needle in a haystack. My grandfather spent more than a week here. From the hexagonal patterns, he established the link between the Persian words for Durrani and for Buddha. The numerical values of these words mirror each other symmetrically. As a result of this, my grandfather's next destination was a Buddhist stupa near a place called Samangan. It's a few hours drive south from here. I'm on my way again. 